I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that door springs are nothing to play with. This is an old door spring out of, um, I don't know, some vehicle I had in the past, probably like 10 years ago. I used to remove door springs with a tool like this when I was younger and much crazier. Not the way to do it. Get you one of these. It's a door spring removal tool or a spring removal tool. You turn the nut, it winds it down, close on the spring, you pull the spring out, and then you can safely install the spring, wind out where you need it to. Trust me, this tool is worth every penny. Especially when you think about how one of those springs can come out and take your eye out, clip a finger right off or break it off. Just get the tool. Anyway, I'm going to be using this tool to remove the spring on this door. Now, this is an uncompressed spring. And that spring down there is compressed. You can see the difference. So, so much tension on that thing. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this door open and hopefully get the spring out without maiming myself. Crying shame I gotta readjust this door again. But that's just how it goes sometimes. So it is what it is. You wanna have your door hinge at least somewhat tight before you try to remove the spring because that spring is pushing tension on the door hinge. So if you thought there. Maybe it'll open up this time. I'm wearing gloves because the inside of the door is metal and my hand is flesh and that metal will cut my flesh. So that is why I'm wearing gloves. Typically don't, but sometimes you just gotta manhandle them, so that's what we're working with. It's kind of hard to see there. Let me see if I can get you guys in here where you can actually see the spring action. This particular spring compressor uses a half inch. Let's try it this way. A half inch wrench or socket to turn this nut to compress the spring. So just so you guys know, it may be different depending on which one you get, but that's what this one uses. So naturally the camera moves because I got my hands full and I can't grab it. So what happened the other time when I was painting, I got primer all over my counter back there. Maybe it'll just stay there. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I think we're almost out of here. out finally finally there it is you can see the spring is compressed all up in there I'm gonna go ahead and relieve the tension off of this before it comes shooting out of here and breaks the camera and tears my face off oh, man you may want to lubricate your thread screw because this one's a little bit stiff it's got a lot of tension on it and that's why but you may want to lubricate it just in case. You see the difference there in the spring? It's pretty relaxed, we're almost there. Usually when you get it just right, it'll just fall right out of there. And this thing you can pretty much turn with your hand. And that tells you that your spring will come right out. All right, I'm gonna put this in the Camaro parts bin. Fortunately, I don't have to adjust the door on the other side, it's, it's good. But uh, this one need to be adjusted. So taking the spring out because this spring is strong and it was pushing the hinge against the car and not allowing me to slide the door forward. So now back to moving the door forward, what I was trying to do 
half an hour ago. Oh, well, this is interesting. So I believe this is a third gen Camaro door spring. That's the last time I used this thing. And it's actually pretty close in size to the second gen Camaro door spring. You can see they're pretty close in size. In fact, I would say it would even work. So it's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Not much change with GM, I guess. Except those door clickers, which if you've seen the video on the Black Stallion, you see me install one of those. Yeah, that was not fun at all. But oh, a door spring here is definitely a lot faster. You know, wind it off with the tool. The other thing, you got to take out the door panel and take it off the inside of the door. And whew. Anyway, all right, enough of me yakking. Let me get back to this thing so we can get this door moved. Pretty good. Real good down there. I have to take the top of the door in just a little bit. But I'm gonna wrap the video here. Cause I realize I gotta do the other door. And I don't wanna bore you guys. You get the idea. Got a dozen bolts up here, striker bolt, play with it till you get the door straight. <laughs> Yeah, my name's Urban the Thrills in a Block. I'm getting back with time taking away. I'm gonna try to knock this out because I gotta get some door jams painted so I can get to the rest of the body. We'll see you soon.